Millions of American families are affected by attention deficit disorder. It can be controlled very successfully with medication and lifestyle changes, but there are a lot of choices, and it's a challenge to find what works for each individual. One local clinic is offering a different approach to the ADD puzzle, a brain scan. I think there are things that I should be doing that I'm not, and I think the ADD is the reason why. John is 47 years old, says he's been struggling with attention deficit disorder for a very long time. He can't focus, often procrastinates. It affects him on the job and at home. I felt like I wasn't being a father to my kids, um, not the father I wanted to be. John's seen several doctors and tried a bunch of different medications, not unusual for an ADD patient, but nothing has worked for him so far. So now he's come to a clinic with a different approach. The Amen Clinic in Reston uses a brain scan to help diagnose and treat different types of attention deficit and hyperactivity disorders. It only takes a few minutes for the brain scan to create an image that shows which areas of the brain are more and less active. Psychiatrist Dr. Daniel Amen has been studying brain scans. For more information, go to NBC4.com and click on health like these for decades. When we look at a scan, we look for what brain system or brain systems are a problem. But basically what you want to see is full, even, symmetrical activity. Using the images along with a clinical history, Amen says he can tell which parts of the brain need to be stimulated or calmed down to control different types of ADD. The brain scan helps him figure out which medication might work best. This is a scan of a normal, healthy brain. This image is a scan of John's brain. Dr. Amon says all those holes are areas that aren't getting enough stimulation. The exciting thing is we can actually see how are we doing. Are we making your brain better like we hope we are? or not. There's more than medication in Dr. Amon's prescription for John. He's supposed to exercise more and cut out caffeine and nicotine. He's also supposed to add a multivitamin supplement and a fish oil supplement for those brain-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. 42-year-old Cheryl Scrivener got a brain scan at Dr. Amon's clinic last year. She had also tried lots of ADD medications without much success. Uh, attention, being able to hold my focus, uh, sustaining mental energy uh, for only short periods of time and then feeling frustrated, like I have to change gears or transition to do something else. Scrivener's first brain scan, Dr. Amon says the holes show underactive areas of her brain. After months of treatment, her brain now looks like this, and Scrivener says she feels better now. Uh, more organized at home, um, able to complete tasks in an efficient way, which I was not doing prior to diagnosis um, and realizing that I'm being more successful now than I have ever been. For more information, go to NBC4.com and click on health.